Hello guys! Nire-upload ko tong video na to para matuto tayong lahat. My YouTube channel is named Love Life, meaning mahalin ang buhay, mahalin natin ang mga buhay natin, at ang mga buhay ng mga minamahal natin. Sa panahon ngayon na kumakalat ang coronavirus, a doctor spoke up, on point and straightforward. Please watch her full statement and I am hoping that we learn from her. Okay. Um, I'm Dr. Rowena Medina Manguban. I'm from the PNP Regional Advisory Council of Virginia. I'm also a women's health advocate and a practicing obstetrician gynecologist. Um, I attended here because uh, Colonel Torre invited me to speak in behalf of the community, the medical professions, uh, the uh, frontliners so health uh, in representing Region 3. Um, I'm, pleading, I'm asking or pleading to the police force, which I am also a member because I am with the advisory council, to implement the enhanced community quarantine in a way na talagang totoo. In a way na talagang dapat inisip nila anong implication. Yesterday, tatlo yung namatay na doctors. And those are people that some of us really know. Hindi sila, hindi po porque doktor ay superhuman. Unang na, sa Pilipinas, it's different. But kahit na sa China, first few weeks of the outbreak, it's going to be the health professionals who's going to be affected talaga. Sila ang unang mawawala. Kasi sila ang may talagang direct contact. And if you do not protect them, by what? By giving them the proper protection, the the personal protective gears, and also if you, if the law enforcement, if the PNP, if the government, the LGUs do not implement the lockdown properly and let people roam around and do business as usual, then ilan ang mawawala sa atin? Ilan ang mauubos sa atin? Parang hindi natatakot pa yung mga tao. Hindi, if you've seen Italy and wait for US, kung sa tingin ninyo ang US eh, malakas sila na country, mayaman, pero magkukulang ang ventilators nila. E tayo, ilan bang ventilators natin? Ilan lang ang doktor natin na nandito? So, kung ubusin niya yan, dahil hindi kayo nagsistay sa mga bahay ninyo at hindi ini-implement ang quarantine wholeheartedly, yung totoo, yung hindi half-hearted, yung hindi, hindi nagbibigay, kasi ganito, pwede ganyan, pal pal palig yan na muna, yan na muna, konti. No! Kailangan talaga yung implement mo, hindi mauubos tayo. Mauubos ang doktor, mauubos kami. At pati kayo, siyempre, hindi ba natin alam kung paano gagawin dito? Kailangan talaga i-implement nyo. Kung kayo, na mismo nanonukulan, nakikita nila, gumagalaw kayo, umaalis kayo, at hindi ninyo pinapalaw yung gusto ninyong mangyari na quarantine, eh, walang mangyayari sa atin, mauubos tayo. Yung pagkain na nakabigay, na nakabinibigay sa LGU, hindi yan tinatago para in case of, in the future, doon nyo, hihintayin ninyo na maubos, doon nyo i-release. Hindi, bigay nyo na ngayon. Bakit? Pag binigay ninyo ngayon yung pagkain sa mga tao, hindi sila lalabas. Pero hanggang hindi ninyo sila pinapakain at na-assure na safe sila, ina-assure na dyan mo na kayo, tahimik lang kayo. Let us do our work. Let us contain this first. Tumahimik muna kayo. We will do our job. Let us do our job. Then, dun lang natin tumakukontain. Hindi natin kaya. Hindi tayo prepared. We were not prepared. Nobody's prepared. So, let me please help the, the government. And the government and the law enforcement, the bosses, the those in the higher ups, please do something about it. Please act now. It's not business as usual. We sh it's not be ready. It's be serious about it. Hindi lang ready, nakapatrol, nakaganyan, naka-checkpoint. Be serious about it. Implement it. Kung kailangang talaga, no politics. It's no politics. No, no religion. No color. No region. Pare-pareho lang. It's for us, for Filipinos. 
for us humans, kay doktor, kay hindi, nag-aaral work for him. You have to do something about it and you have to act now. As in, act now. Not business as usual. Nakilan na po yung mga doctors and nurses na As of na, now, na, yesterday, na positive. as positive, um, I'm, I'm really not sure about the the exact numbers. I presented it kanina, but I'm sure of the three deaths yesterday. In just one day, one death. Ay, three deaths. Tatlong doktor. And ang dami pong naka-injubate. Ibig sabihin nakatubo kasi hindi siya hindi mo mahihinga. So pag nakatubo po sila, most often than not, It's like a death sentence. It's almost game over. At alam nyo po, marami. Hindi lahat sinasabi sa inyo. Pero yung mga doktor po, naka-admit, naka-ICU, naka-intubate, nakatubo sila. So, better do something about it. And better realize na pag nabubos sa doktor, walang-walang gagamot sa inyo. Wala. Kawawa tayong lahat. Kawawa mga doktor, pero kawawa din kayo. Mauhula lang kami ng konti, pero pati kayong lahat. Wala na. Wala nang titingin. Wala titingin. Sino titingin? Walang nurse. Walang doktor, di ba? Pati yung mga polis, eh, expose nyo kasi labas kayo ng labas. Eh di lahat tayo, kapano yan? Kaya gano'n ang Italy. Ngayon, anong asan sila? Matigas ang ulo nila eh. Matitigas ang ulo nila. Kahit sa US, matayin mo lang. Census, yung, yung rates na yan mag-iba. By the way, nasan lang tayo? Nasan lang tayo? Hindi pa tayo nagpipik. Wala pa tayo sa pik. Ang Italy ngayon pa lang, papunta pa pik pa lang. Pa pik pa lang sila. Ang China, two months. 3 months. Ngayon, nasa park na sila. We do not learn from China. Then, wala tayong pupuntahan. Sa kanila, walang politics. Kasi isa lang ang nagbibiside. Susunod kayo kung ano lang ang sasabihin nila. Pero dito, kasi kinukontra ng kinukontra, gusto nang i-initiate. Ito namang nag-i-initiate, nagdadalawang isip dahil baka matira sila. No, wala na. Wala, wala na po. Kaya doktor ka, kaya politician ka, matatamaan ka. Kaya kailangan talaga implement yung enhanced quarantine, yung totoo, totoong quarantine. At saka on their own na, initiative na ng tao, hindi na kailangan dahil sinasabi pa sa inyo, inuutos pa o obligahin pa kayo. Kailangan tayong lahat na talaga. Ma'am Kuy, did we get yung ginagawa nilang quarantine ngayon? Uh, one to ten, ano po ang grade sa kanila? I cannot grade it talaga, pero labas lang kayo. Kita nyo, dami yung traffic, di ba? Ang traffic nung may merong express lane for doctors and for food na gagamit, ang sikit ng kalsado eh, hindi. Kasi ang daming sasakyan. So wala. So yun lang. So by that, paglabas mo lang, maraming maraming tao. So hindi siya talaga na i-implement yung buti. In fairness to the police officers, gusto ba nila yan? Hindi nila gusto yan. Ang init ng araw, nakalong sleeve sila. Bakit? For their protection yan. Kaya yan nakalong sleeve. Hindi yung blue at sinusot nila. Kasi interaction, pwede silang mahawa. Hindi lang doktor ang nahahawa, kahit sila. So if you think gusto nila to, hindi nila to gusto. Walang may gusto nito. Pero kailangan nila. Kailangan may gumawa. Kaya kayo, dapat tayo, yung mga ordinary citizen, do your share. Do your share. Stay home. Yun lang muna. Pabayaan nyo muna kami. The law, law, law enforcement and the health sector, let us do our job. You just stay home. And I'm asking the LGUs. You protect your citizens. Give their foods na. Kung hindi niyo sila bibigyan ng pagkain, kung hindi niyo sila kaalagaan, lalabas sila. Kaya sila lumalabas kasi wala silang makakain. They are afraid of what to eat this day and the following day. Pero if you will take care of them, which is what you are supposed to do, and you were elected to do that, ngayon talaga, ngayon totoo yung kailangan pakita mo yung pagiging mayor mo, pagiging governor mo, kailangan hindi nyo sa stock at magpapapicture sa mga truck-truck na pagkain o ng mga supplies na binili nyo. Tapos sila sabi ninyo, we bought this, uh, this was donated to be used for, for, to be used for our, for our community in case of shortage. No, you give them now. You give it to them para tumahimik sila kasi mas masusorten yung period na o yung dadami na may expose, mas kaya natin. So, bigay nyo na yung pagkain nila. Stimu yung stimulate na, na madahimik lang sila. Gar guarantee nyo sila, yet reassure nyo sila. And that's only can be done by giving them the food that they need. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.